2020 graduates, my name is Mo Degani and I'm the Chancellor at Missouri University of Science and Technology. I wanted to take this opportunity to congratulate you on your fantastic achievement. Please join me in this celebration, albeit virtual, so that we can celebrate your hard work, your achievement, whether it's a bachelor's degree, master's degree, or PhD. Congratulations to all of you. Let me also promise you that we will invite you back to campus. So you and your family will get to come back to campus and we will have a real celebration at a future date when we can all of us get together. Thank you. Hello and congratulations to the 2020 graduates of Missouri s and Although we are celebrating virtually, your accomplishments are very real and we are so proud of you. Many thanks to the family, friends, faculty, and staff who supported your journey. During this challenging time, I've been truly inspired by your resilience, commitment, and drive. Each of you, in one way or another, has had a struggle to reach this day. Some may have doubted you. You may have doubted yourself, but you also never gave up. And I'm so happy because you have important work ahead. I hope you can spend today with your loved ones and remember the little moments that culminated in this magnificent accomplishment. So in conclusion, congratulations, minors. To all the members of Missouri s and Spring 2020 graduating class, congratulations from the College of Arts, Sciences, and Business. You've shown great resilience this semester by adapting to some truly unexpected circumstances. You've had a memorable final semester, I'm sure, but maybe not in the ways you would have chosen. Nevertheless, for all the efforts you've made to complete your degree, we commend you. The challenges you've faced will give you the confidence to succeed in our ever-changing world, and your s and degree will be remembered and respected wherever you go. You've worked really hard this semester under some really unusual circumstances, and you deserve the biggest graduation party there is. Welcome to the family of Missouri s and alumni. In 2017, when applying to graduate school, I wrote, I am a single mom of two pursuing a dream of going to graduate school. There was a time I wasn't sure I would ever get to pursue my dream of graduate school, but life is a funny way of turning the tables on you and now is my time. I started to see God putting the pieces together for me to realize the dream that I once thought was impossible. I want the opportunity to show my children that you never give up on a dream. As a mom, I desire to be a role model of fulfilling one's dreams to my children. Today, they see me achieving that dream. Reflecting on my dream, I can't believe it has finally happened. Over the last three years, my experiences have been influenced by my family, my classmates, my professors, and my role as an s and employee. I have been extremely humbled by the support of each group that has provided a different perspective to learning. When a student embarks on this journey to a master's degree, the expectation is to learn from the professor. At s and through our integrative distance and on-campus program, a student learns from so many more. I have gained a new perspective that has enabled me to go deeper into utilizing my education each day. The foundation to industrial organizational psychology is to enhance the performance and well-being of people and organizations. My experience at ST has allowed me to embrace this phrase, challenge this phrase, and encourage others to be the best version of themselves. Graduates, whatever degree you are receiving today, I share with you an important lesson learned. Give yourself the ability to change what your best is. Every day, I tell my kids to do their best. Every day, that could change based on their circumstances, their demands, 
but every day we do our best. My best as a working professional, a single mom of two, a volunteer, and more was different in graduate school than it was for my undergraduate degree. But my best was right for me. I encourage you to know what is important. Share your goals and your dreams. But more importantly, remember to do your best each and every day. Thank you. Being a first-generation college student, I was never sure if college was right for me. When I transferred here, I never expected the huge impact the school would have on me. I, like many others on this campus, excelled at math. I was told that my math skills were well-suited for engineering, so that's what I wanted to do. However, I never had that spark about the coursework like my classmates had. I tried so hard to find it too. I threw myself into my coursework and joined a design team in hopes that my spark would just come later. Even as president of my design team, I was never excited and passionate about the work I was doing. It took me many years to realize that being good at something doesn't equate to loving it. Once I had that realization, I knew engineering wasn't for me. I had remembered really enjoying my general psychology course and just figured that would be a good place to start. I emailed the department asking to set up a meeting about potentially changing majors and Professor Marilee Kruger was very eager to meet with me. I didn't realize it at the time, but the moment I walked into Professor Kruger's office was the moment my life was going to change forever. She was so warm, welcoming, and truly just wanted to help me find my passion. And she did exactly that. She helped me find my spark, psychology. After switching majors, I was immediately welcomed into the psychology department. I'm able to walk down the hallway of the department and get greeted by any professor who has their door open. I was also able to join in on some amazing research with Dr. Devin Burns in his perceptual psychology lab, which has helped shape me into the researcher I am today. I had finally found my home at Missouri s and because of this, I wanted to help others find their spark and realize how amazing this campus can be if you find the right people to help you succeed. I figured the best way to do that would to become a pro leader. Becoming a pro leader has been one of the most rewarding experiences while here at Missouri s and I'm able to watch our incoming freshmen, learn about what this campus has to offer, and help ease their mind with any worries they may have while also watching them grow into a phenomenal student. As my graduation date crept in, I was nervous about the next steps in my journey. I knew I wanted to pursue graduate school, but I didn't have the high marks that graduate schools look for. However, with the help of Dr. Amy Belfi, Dr. Burns, and Professor Kruger, I was able to realize my potential and see it's more than just grades. I am happy to announce that I've officially accepted a fully funded PhD program at my top choice. I can promise you that I wouldn't have been accepted if it wasn't for my support system here on campus. I want to leave you with this, find your passion, find your people. It's not about making the most amount of money, it's about finding the people who will help you be the best version of yourself. I truly cannot thank the psychology and new student programs departments enough for everything they've done for me. I can honestly say that without them, I wouldn't be addressing all of you today. Thank you. Congratulations on a job well done. This has probably been the most unique semester of our 150 year history. And you'll forever remember all that you did to get through this. It took a lot of work to go online and to get out of the classroom and out of your labs. And for that, I'm very proud of you all. Many of you came here not knowing quite what you were gonna do. And at the end of it, you've become a minor. You've earned your degree and you're gonna go on to a career in which you will prosper. And that's the common bond that all of us graduates have. As you leave to start your career, just remember one thing, you will forever be a minor and this will forever be your home. When we are kids, we are often asked what we want to be when we grow up. 
Typical answers are doctor, ballerina, firefighter, or maybe even an astronaut. When I was asked the same question, I would always say, I wanna be like my papa. You see, my grandfather was an engineer and he could make literally anything. Growing up, I had the best school projects because my grandpa would spend hours with me in his workshop making sure that my projects were perfect. He was truly magic and I wanted to be magical just like him. So I too decided to be an engineer. A year and a half into my master's program at ST, tragedy struck. My grandfather, my hero, passed away suddenly and unexpectedly. I fell into a deep, dark depression. I stopped going to class and I didn't even have the strength to make it out of my bed. All the magic in my life suddenly vanished. I became so depressed that I dropped out of school with one semester left in my program and I questioned if I even wanted to be an engineer anymore. I was trapped in this darkness until five months ago. This past December, my grandmother was diagnosed with bone cancer. Facing a reality where both my grandparents were gone seemed unimaginable. It was in that moment of complete despair that I remembered my grandfather. He wasn't magic because he was an engineer. He was magic because he gave me the gift of purpose. You see, I realized that being an engineer means more than just having my name on a piece of paper. My purpose in this life is to make a positive impact in the world around me. As engineers, we know that there are many problems facing society today that we are lucky enough to use our gifts and education to solve. A lot of people say that our generation isn't capable of making a difference, but I beg to differ. We are miners. We know how to dig deep and overcome challenges. So as you move into the real world, I implore you to find a greater purpose in life. If you would have told me five months ago that I'd be standing here receiving my degree, I would have laughed in your face. <laughs> but I am here. I am here because I found an amazing family at s and that believed in me and would not let me give up when I desperately wanted to. So, when life inevitably tries to hold you back or someone tells you you aren't good enough, believe in yourself and believe in your purpose. And also remember the words of Eleanor Roosevelt who once said, the future belongs to those who believe in the beauty of their dreams. Thank you. I came to Missouri s and in the fall of 2016. I was a freshman with a dazzling arrogance and a strange belief that I could continue what I'd done in high school and just sleepwalk my way to success. I was wrong. I have a very vivid memory from my first finals week. At 3.30 in the morning, I was studying for a chemistry final and I decided to check my grades. And I discovered that there was a very real possibility that I would fail every single class in which I was enrolled. And that night, I knew I had a choice to make between giving up and pressing on. That night was the first time that I chose to press on, but it was not the last. If we're graduating from Missouri s and we can all attest that we've had to decide to press on many times. And I believe that that is one of the true values that this school has to offer. We have all had the opportunity to look failure dead in the eyes and kick it in the teeth. Out in the real world, many people have never had that option. And so, failure defines their lives without them ever realizing it. But the thing about my journey and my story of success is that, like so many other people here, my story is not one that can be told with only me. My story is not a story of solo success. In my time here, I learned a lot about engineering, but I also met people who taught me things that fundamentally changed the way I see the world. Dr. Cheryl Hodges, who's the best professor that I had in my time here, showed me how powerful simple expressions of caring can be. Stephanie Martinson in the counseling office showed me the value and the power of accepting and admitting that I'm not okay all the time. Nathaniel Kaufman, a campus minister at the Christian Campus Fellowship, took a chance on me by accepting me into Christian housing at the beginning of my journey of pressing on, while I still struggled with many things. If this time of quarantine has taught us anything, it's that we were not made to be alone. And so, my fellow graduates, my charge to us is twofold. 
that we would continue exposing ourselves to failure in this next chapter, but that we would not do it alone. We have something truly special from our time here. The, the places, the names, and the faces uh, that I have encountered here, I will treasure forever. And so, uh, as we step out into this next chapter, as we continue exposing ourselves to failure, may we rely on each other. Because greatness and exceptionality is not something that is achieved alone, but it is something that can only begin when failure is an option. Thank you very much. When I graduated high school, I had goals. I was going to go to the Olympics, become a doctor, and graduate debt-free. And I failed so incredibly at all of those things. Two years into college, I would quit my sport and given up on medical school. I was unable to keep up with my tuition payments. I wasn't where I wanted to be, so I took a leap of faith. I transferred to Missouri s and switched my major from chemistry to nuclear engineering, and maxed out my student loans. And I struggled. When I first came here, I struggled with my classes. I struggled to find a job, struggled to make friends. After being an athlete for 12 years, I struggled to find my identity without my sport. But I kept pushing forward. I attended lead sessions and applied for scholarships. I got more involved on campus and joined student council. I had the opportunity to attend national conferences and network with engineers from around the world. I represented my peers on important issues like mental health and grading policies. I made friends, I worked hard, I learned new things, and I made it here today. I'm graduating with a degree in nuclear engineering from an amazing university. I'm married to the love of my life, and in the fall, I'll be pursuing my master's at Carnegie Mellon University. So my message is this, have courage. Be brave enough to work towards the life you want. Brave enough to step outside of your comfort zone in pursuit of your wildest dreams. Be brave enough to feel so spectacularly that you're not sure you'll be able to move on. Be brave enough to move on anyway. In our time here at s and we've been through it all. All the sleepless nights, the stress, the uncertainty, the doubt. Through every failed assignment, failed exam, failed class. Despite all of the challenges we've faced, we made it. We're graduating. So have courage. Take that leap and fail spectacularly. Dig deeper and prepare to be amazed by what you'll achieve. Our best days are yet to come. Thank you. My name is Dr. Diana Ahmed, and I'm a professor of history in the Department of History and Political Science. I'm here in my regalia to wish you the best of life and congratulate you on your graduation. It's a big deal for the bachelor's degrees, the master's degrees, and the PhDs. Many of you have had me, and it's been a pleasure having all of you. It's outstanding. Best of luck always, and live long and prosper. Hi, I'm Doug Roberts. I'm the police chief here at Missouri s and and I just wanted to take this opportunity and congratulate you graduates on a, a tremendous accomplishment. I've had a, a special bond with the, uh, the undergraduates having been here four years myself and have had the opportunity on several occasions to work with the students and engage with them, whether it's during presentations on campus, attending special events like games, athletic events, or having coffee with you in the lobby of Havner Center with Coco with the Popo. I've always enjoyed 
those opportunities and the university police always enjoy the opportunities we have to engage with our, our student constituents. Thank you. To the graduating class at Missouri S&T, congratulations on a job well done. Many of you I have known throughout your time at S&T, whether it be through HDR, Honors, Student Success Center, or the SVRC. It has been a privilege to watch you grow academically during your time here at S&T. Those of us here at S&T want you to continue to reach out to us even after you're long gone. We wanna hear about your achievements. We wanna hear about the challenges you face and you've overcome. One of the things that Missouri S&T has taught you is to challenge yourself and persevere. Looking forward to seeing how you all grow professionally and personally. Please keep in touch. Thank you. Graduate stoop to do to do to do graduate stoop to do to do to do graduate stoop to do to do to do graduate congratulations stoop to do to do congrats stoop to do to do to do congrats stoop to do to do to do to congrats graduating class of 2020 on behalf of the ST Advising Center faculty staff and fellow students yes your fellow students we would like to offer you a hearty congratulations on your graduation. It has been a tough journey, but just like the miner you are, you dug deeper and persevered. We are proud of you. Congratulations. And as you move on to your future endeavor, please remember, keep in touch with us and let us know how you're doing. Go Miners! To all the members of the graduating class of 2020, please allow me to offer my heartfelt congratulations on a job well done. What you've accomplished here is due to your own hard work, your resilience, your persistence, your grit, skills that you've learned in the classroom and outside the classroom. That's why minors participate in experiential learning, those opportunities to learn about real life skills that expand beyond the classroom. You've learned what it's like to be part of a team, starting off as a Project X team as a freshman, to maybe participating in a design team or working on a research project maybe part of a student organization. You've learned that your skills combined with other skills are magnified to accomplish things that you didn't think you'd accomplish on your own. We're all minors. So always remember, go minors. Congratulations, you made it, you did it. This is a wonderful day. It's been a privilege to be a part of your education. I'm sure that the success that we're celebrating today is just the start of many, many good things for you. I know that each and every one of you will make the world a better place, hopefully with some of the things that you learned at S&T. You're talented, hardworking, good people. Please keep in touch and give us other opportunities to take pride in everything that you've done. Congratulations again. Hi. I'm Mark Mullen, Director of Athletics. I'd like to take a moment to congratulate you on your hard work and on your graduation. We're so proud of you. I'd also like to offer just a little bit of advice. Each year in intercollegiate athletics, we start the year and end the year talking about living your life with minor pride. And to do that, we talk about pride as an acronym. P standing for passion, because passion fuels success. R for respect, because respect is important to share with others, but to share that with others, you have to first respect yourself. How do you do that? You make the right decisions. You live your life with integrity and character. I for inspiration, because we all have an opportunity every day to inspire others. D for determination, Without hard work, you can't achieve anything. And we as miners know, miners dig deeper. E for excellence, because we should be striving for excellence in all that we do. We're so proud of you. We're so proud of the work, the dedication, and the achievements you have made. And we look forward to the next phase of your life, and we hope you will live your lives with minor pride. And we hope you will come back and share your life experiences and your success with us. So again, congratulations and go Miners!
Hi guys, this is Tyrone Smith, Missouri s and class of 2007 and three-time Olympian in track and field. And I just wanted to reach out and say congratulations to the class of 2020. I know this has been a long and arduous journey, but I could not be more proud of the hard work that you guys have done. And I know that you will continue to do great things well into the future. Dig deep. Congratulations, everyone. Congratulations, class of 2020 on graduation. Good luck in your future endeavors. I'm so thrilled that you have achieved this great milestone. And although graduation may mark the completion of your schooling years, please don't ever stop pursuing knowledge. Wishing you the best with your dreams and career. Keep shining the bright light in you. I know this isn't how we envisioned celebrating, but you do have the eternal bragging rights of having graduated from one of the hardest schools in the country during a pandemic. How many other people are going to be able to say that? I wanted to formally welcome you to the Alumni Club. It's pretty great over here. And I look forward to seeing you at future alumni gatherings. Congratulations, Congratulations class, class of 2020. 2020. Greetings from Sri Lanka. Congratulations, class of 2020. We are so proud of you. So, welcome to the real world. Congratulations, 2020 graduates. You're joining tens of thousands of alumni serving businesses and communities around the world. I just want to say I'm proud of you and we wish you the best. Way to go, class of 2020. Knowing you have worked hard and successfully completed the challenges and rigors required to earn your degree from Missouri s and should provide you with confidence to move forward and succeed in this changing world. Way to go, class of 2020. Hello, class of 2020 and to all the families watching. I'd like to say congratulations on this major achievement. Uh, welcome to this new journey. I'm very excited for you all and always remember to make room for your passions. Go Miners. Go Miners. Go Miners. Go Miners.
Hi, I'm Julia Burnsick, and it's my sincere pleasure 
to congratulate our 2020 graduates on behalf of the University of Missouri Board of Curators. I also want to recognize the parents, family, and friends who supported our students along their journey. Your sacrifices and encouragement enabled their determination and perseverance to pursue this degree. So thank you so much for championing the importance of higher education. To the graduates, this is an exciting day and we are very proud of you. A college graduation is a big deal. Earning a college degree demonstrates that you have the passion and discipline to succeed. You worked very hard to reach this milestone and today we celebrate you. Circumstances prevent us from celebrating together in person right now, but nothing diminishes the importance of what you achieved. And although we are entering a different world than the one we expected, I assure you this world needs your talents. We need the scientists and artists, agriculturists and engineers, historians, writers, business women and men, poets and philosophers. We need critical thinkers who can look at the world in a rational way and make decisions based on facts and reason. You will have many opportunities to use what you learned here to make lasting impacts in your own communities. To borrow a few lines from one of my favorite books, Lord of the Rings, it is not the strength of the body, but the strength of the spirit. All we have to decide is what to do with the time that is given us. I hope you stay connected with your fellow classmates and also tap into the strong alumni networks that exist to support you along the next leg of your journey. Reach out to those who graduated before you for direction and encouragement, and remember to reach back to help guide those who follow you. Again, on behalf of the entire Board of Curators, congratulations on your accomplishment. We look forward to seeing what you do next. Congratulations again, and thank you again for joining us and welcome to the Minor Family.